Welcome to our uh, Monday night connection. Obviously, thank you for hosting us. Beautiful place over here downtown. And uh, beautiful people, great guests from, uh, from uh, around, the, uh, let's say around the world, I think. <laughs> and um, thank you also for joining us over here. One of the important part is, is you remember last week, we started talking about the whole idea of a building of a structure, right? The structure called a Mishkan, which is a tabernacle, which is a device, a spiritual device, that Moses got instruction to build. Now, from a Kabbalistic point of view, we learn, we don't live in the time of the desert. We don't live in time of Moses. We, you know, we're not even religious right so why 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 is it important for me to know that it's important so because we don't have that structure that was started to be built last week we spoke about it it's in the next few weeks that's going to be the engagement around that and around the building of that what is it significant a temple that each one of us have internally a holy temple internally. It's a sacred place where only you and people that are very, very close to you can feel you there, can get there. Right? There's probably we spoke about that there's few people in our life that really enter to these places within us. Right? Very unique relationship. At times, not even us have an opportunity to get into that place, to that sacred place. We feel actually foreign with ourselves. We feel that we are separating even from ourselves. So if we take it in the same way of that understanding, there is a holy temple within us, and only the priest, the high priest, was allowed to enter there. And the only reason he could enter to that holy temple it's because he served the world and the community. For himself, it's closed. For me, 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 what I need, it's closed. So the first understanding that we have today, anytime you're interested in greater revelation, in a greater level of you, greater or deeper connection to you, you need to know you have to enter to that temple. But if I'm getting there because I want it for me, 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 you're not going to be able to enter. That door is sealed and closed. It's open for those of us who get awakening to do something for the sake of somebody else. When every time you awaken yourself to do an action of sharing for somebody else, a movement that is of a spiritual nature, because a lot of us moving, right? All day long we're moving. But moving, for the sake of, I'm not going to move my hands, or I'm going to move my hands for the sake of getting water to drink for myself. Yes. But to move my hand for the sake of pouring water to somebody else, it's going to be thought. I need to think about it, right? What do we understand? That we want eventually that even our movement will be for the sake of doing something for somebody else. Even the movement, because a lot of that is moving for the sake of being comfortable. I'm going to move the chair because I want to be comfortable. Right? Everything I'm going to do is just for the sake of serving me in my little square. Therefore... The structure that is being instructed by the Creator that is installed within each one of us is sealed and it might be a lifetime of a person is not connected to a very deep part of them. That is, when you want to connect to a deeper part, you have that sometimes. You have these epiphanies. You have those moments. But you in and out. It doesn't stay. So, that was last week and this week as well, speaking about the same thing. But this week is a complete different details 
of again if you're in fashion and if you or, or in, into customs and all of that this portion have so many details about the clothing of the high priest and all the stones and how they the size and the coat and the and the vest that he had and the and the gown and the and the hat that he had and the breastplates you know the women to me the breastplate of the Kohen all the details of all the items of the clothing it represent and signify this week the connection to our high priest every clothing for example what is clothing clothing he's obviously covering our body physical clothing right meaning a normal human being today in order for them to be exposed meaning to reveal themselves outside in the street they need to conceal themselves with clothing right like i did <clears throat> today everybody is appear in the street wearing clothes right we are in this era today maybe some places people walk naked right but still the soul need clothing to come down to this world and the body is the clothing right the skin is like is like the gown is like that cover right is like that 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 uh, uh, shirt for the soul therefore in order for anything to be revealed it has to be concealed first understand this is a spiritual law that need to be very much clear in order for anything to be revealed to this world it has to be revealed with a specific clothing this is the clothing we're talking about today what does it mean for example if tonight class were only uh, uh, tuxedo right and i would come with a uh, like a slippers and a, and a shorts and and a t-shirt right but it's a black tie event right it's a what So why what will happen what will happen is like oh sorry you can't come in right it's uh, you don't have why well, I'm wearing I'm wearing yeah it's not the right clothing meaning you can't enter if you don't have the right clothing right does that make sense to you yeah. same thing spiritually it's exactly the same if i want to enter to higher level or in this type of conversation i want to enter to my depth it's mine it's the creator gave it to me But if I don't have the right clothing the door is not open. And I share with you few ideas of how to open the doors and how to transform yourself to become the high priest of your life. We don't need to be a channel for other people. Let me channel for you or let me tell you what I think about you. No, 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 no. Be your own channel. Be a pipe, be a conduit for your own life. Why? Because your own life is what the creator gave you for the sake of sharing with other people's life when we try to be a channel for somebody else meaning other you know sometimes it's like it, it's it might sounds like or feels like ego do you understand sometimes it might might feels like you know oh wow look how i help them and then you feel ego and all that i would suggest first of all be a channel in your life first what does it mean how does it work the name of the of the portion it indicates what the energy is all about the word that the name of the portion is veata tetzave literally mean and you should command tetzave it you need to come to a level that you commanding in this world where the light my light needs to be revealed each one of us need to be in a reality that we are totally in control over our actions over our mind over our thoughts over our heart do you feel you close to it occasionally so randomly right sometimes people you know do things it's like why did you do it i don't know i could not control myself right How many times you even snacking, right? Now you say I'm not, I'm not snacking anymore. Boom, right? 
I stop with the pizza, two slices only, right? Right? Every day we're deciding something and we dismiss our decision, right? Every day I'm going to wake up, I'm going to go to the gym. Boom. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I'm going to start yoga. Not, never happen. Uh, anything you said doesn't happen. It feels like we are not in control. No matter. It, so what happened? Tomorrow we decide to make a big goal. Tomorrow I'm going to make a million dollar goal for this year. Right? That's great. You think it's going to happen? Why would it happen when two minutes, late, two minutes before you dismiss completely your word? Do you understand? Two minutes earlier you said, I'm going to wake up early in the morning, I'm going to start push-ups. Not going to happen. Okay, but God, please help me make a million dollars. Are you telling me? I want to give you God, this God creator, I want to give you billions of dollars. Why million? But it's not up to me. I give you the temple. I give you the tools. Go and do it. Right? So, of course, imagine, would you like to be talking to, let's say, if you're talking to a priest, right? And every single day he changes his mind. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> you come to the priest, priest, I have to talk to you. Ah, I changed my mind. You know, you should divorce. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> stay married. You know, stay married. Right? <laughs> Nobody want to listen to somebody like that. Does that make sense? This is why you cannot enter your holy temple. Right? That's what it is. So he says this, that it's a very, if you, know, if you want to achieve a level of, 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 of conviction in your life, start with how you show up in your own life for yourself. Then, you know, God, give me my soulmate. Sure, I gave it to you. Right? Where I don't see it. Yeah, because you're busy with movement in the wrong directions, right? It's all clear when you really have what we call last week, we spoke about the Atzei Shita, when you have a system to live by, when you have a path, when you have rules. That's why the Kabbalists always recommend take few of the spiritual laws of Kabbalah because once you stick to the rules, the entire world is open for you. When you, a person doesn't live by any system, random, the life is random. Life is random. So, <clears throat> what is first, first step? He says to us, the Kabbalist says, you, tell, you need to tell all the Israelites and write it down for the entire world that every individual cannot wait to anybody else to fix their life. They need to be in charge. And you need to command to where and what light and what needs to be revealed in this world. First, that's the big picture. Second, he says, so what do I need to do in order to achieve the level of metzaveh, the level of being in charge, command on this world? And this is the beauty. When you read the word vata tetzave, tetzave is to command, but it's the same word, word as we say in uh, metzuve. What does it mean? If you cannot, if you want to be the one who command, you need to be able to receive from others commands. Can you listen to other people's Suggestions. Are you open to other people's ideas or leadership? Can you take orders from someone? The answer is, of course, no. We don't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's very hard for us to, uh, to get commands, right? Do you like to listen to your parents? Do you do everything that they tell you? At some point, at some point, eh, okay, it's very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Always go to sleep with socks. Your mom told you this? No. You did it? No. All, all, all kind of suggestions, you know, like these uh, grandma medicines, you know, like always do this. Yeah, at some point we stop listening, right? Because even from childhood we learn 
that a child grow and want his own room, want to eat by themselves, want to have his own thing. All of us grow up like that, slowly, slowly, to take no command from anyone. Of course, with fear and all of that, eventually we start receiving, right? But first, is in order to be a command in this world, to have the power to command in this world, you have to ask yourself, am I a good soldier? Am I a soldier that goes, am I going to work and I do exactly what they tell me to do? Am I a good student? I'm listening to a class. Am I a good student? Am I doing what the teacher says or suggested? Right? Am I a good partner? Am I a real partner? Right? Am I real? Am I really with them? Until, you know, they are not the way I like them. Now I'm not there. In order to be a person who is commanding in this world, you need to ask yourself, can I receive, can I take commands? Can I accept the, 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 the orders from others? Now, it says that you, now you need to create a clothing. So, so uh, when you look at the word v'atat etzaveh, the word v'ata is mean and you. You should, right? You, v'ata, and you. The word v'ata, if you switch the letter in Kabbalah, you can do that because you don't change the, the numerical value. You just change the order of the letter. Then you get the word ha'ot. V'ata, ha'ot. What does it mean? It can be a few things. One, ha'ot, ot is letter. But ot is also the sign. Signs. Now, if you will be honest with yourself, don't you look all the time for signs in life? I want to have a sign. Well, what's the sign? Let me go to ask Benjamin. Maybe he's going to give me a sign. Or maybe I'm going to come to the class. I'm going to get a sign. Right? Or I'm going to drive in the street. I need a sign on the plane, on the truck, on the... Right? Always a sign. We're looking for a sign. Is that correct to say? If somebody disagrees with me, please let me know. <laughs> but it's okay to disagree with me. But we're all looking for... Is it a sign? Wow, what a sign I got. Right? Always speaking this way. The question is... How do I know what is a real sign and to listen to it and what is a fake sign and not listen to it? Majority of us always, after the fact, oh, yeah, I should have listened to the sign. <laughs> the writing was on the wall. Ah, I had many red flags. Everybody's saying that. I said, so why didn't you, why didn't you walk away? Why didn't you stay? Why did you let that boss abuse you? Oh, you know, I had those many signs I didn't listen to myself. You know, I should trust myself a little bit more. What? Oh, yourself now? What about signs? <laughs> signs you don't want to trust anymore, right? It's such a, such a beauty idea here. I, I, will, I will, listen, me, I'm very excited. When I study this, I get very, if you see, I have a million notes, right? I'm not going to talk about all of that because I have million notes just from this week's portion of every situation. And I'm not, I'm not speaking about it because I even get, can't, get, get, uh, can't get there yet because of the excitement of just what, what idea of what we getting as, as a gift today. One, <clears throat> I need to transform myself to a priest. That is your sign. The only sign you need, the only sign you need is that sign. Everything else will follow and will flow exactly how it should. But you need a sign. What is a sign to be a, a priest? Now let me explain to you how it works. Wait a minute, I don't ask you now to go to a temple and, and separate, you know, even though we see, we think that all these priests and all these, uh, all these people who are isolated or separated from people, right? They are very much elevated and great and all of this. That was never the case. The Kabbalist says he never meant to go into, an, uh, 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 into sitting in a mountain uh, uh, isolated from people. You know why? Because God is with the people downstairs. 
It doesn't leave the people, right? That's where we are. So when you separate yourself, again, each, each, each one of us will go to a temple. In the east, the west, doesn't matter where, right? I'm telling you, you're going to feel great. Because you separate from all desires. It's easy there to feel free and to feel connected. You're going to get it. But did you change something? Did you transform something? The answer is no, because when you come back here, you're back into the same place. So it's never about disconnected or separate myself. It's about being able to be in, in, in a complete order in the world of chaos. And to see the order in chaos. Our job as human beings is not to separate and isolate and run away from society. Is to be within the midst of society, to create community that is within the community, always be around people. But bring each one of them to become a channel of the light of the Creator. That's the idea. A, a community of channels. That's the idea. So now, if you understand that this week, spiritually we're receiving the clothing of the Kohen Gadol, the, the high priest. We received the clothing, and again, he had many, many different vests, and this, if you want to read it, you can read it, uh, uh, in, in, literally the, the clothing of the coin. But each one of us meant to be a channel for this world. Now, if we're looking for a sign, we know that even in the desert, by the way, when they go through the desert, there was what we call the cloud of glory. Only when the cloud moves, the nation move. When the clouds stop, the people stop. That is also a sign, right? There's many. You know, if you remember, uh, 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 you look at the, uh, the wars that people used to fight, you know, back then. Right? There was always the king who gave a sign, walk around, or the trumpet, right? There was always a sign. How they used to communicate with signs, with fire, with different smoke, you know, it's a sign for this, a smoke like this is a sign for that, right? And many, or oh, the voice of the, the shofar, mm -hmm. that they used to blow uh, the, the, the trumpet or the, the what we call the shofar. Um, or oh, I was in Brazil, I remember, in Brazil, right? The, in the, in, oh, in the yeah. forest, in the forest, the rainforest over there, the, yes, the big, big trees with big wings, and they used to have there's a stick next to it, and you have to strike it. And the tree in the top used to actually send that uh, uh, vibe across the. I, I saw it. This the is the forest. the forest. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's a signs and a communication all the time. So why don't we get the right sign? Why most of the time we're not listening to the signs? And I tell you exactly again, because you are not a priest. What does it mean? Because every time you want to receive a sign that is about you, you're not going to get it. Because you cannot enter to the holy temple when you come. It's like, me, 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 I need this, I want that, it's for me. When it's related to you and your own little square, you don't get access to the temple, you, the, you're not a priest because you're not a channel. For others, for the world, yes, you're going to start seeing sign all the time. When you're about to do something for the world, for other people, when, when it's about, you know, creating a movement for others, you're going to get signs right and left, right and left. It's going to fly on you. When it's about you, me, 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 is it my boyfriend or is it not going to be my boyfriend? Do I need to date that person or date that person? Then you're going to get a little bit confused. Why? Because you need help from outside. We'll explain to you more about it. <clears throat> so now, in order for us to have those signs, those otot, otot is those signs, those signals, right? We need to produce them. We need to produce those signs. What does it mean? <clears throat> because sometimes, how do I know that I need to agree with this sign or not to agree to that sign, right? Because <clears throat> when a sign 
is coming to you. It's coming to you, and I'm going to give you probably seven different ideas, okay, of how a sign comes to you, or why a sign comes to you, or when. You have to learn to detect the signs. <laughs> when you have an opportunity to share, there is a sign. When, before an opportunity to share, you're going to get a sign. When you have an opportunity to let go, you're going to get a sign. Somebody will say something, oh, you should let go. Somebody will, something will happen to tell you, let go of that. It's a sign. When you're listening to start this again, another sign is when it's not connected to you, you're going to get a sign. Meaning if I have a message about somebody else, I'm going to get, most likely I'm going to get a sign of this is a sign that they need to do this or that. But if I want some credit for that, it's never about them anymore. It's because the credit, and therefore it's not a sign. You shouldn't say that. When, <coughs> when you could not stop yourself from doing what you, meant, what you did, even if it's wrong, but you could not stop yourself, it's a sign that you meant to do that because it's going to lead an, to an open or a different closed door, meaning that you have to close the door or to open another door. You understand? Another thing is you're not going to get a sign. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, a sign is not coming when you're under the control of your ego. When your ego is in control, no signs. Any sign that comes through that, don't believe it. It's absolutely fake. Fake news. Right? <laughs> When you have an interest to bring joy, and again, why am I saying the word osher? Osher is joy for the world. Why? Because if you take the word ata, which is the, the word haot, tetzaveh, tetzaveh is command, but it's the same numerical value as the word rosh, head, but if you split the letter, you, the letter you get osher, which is joy and happiness. When, uh, when, when you get a sign, when it's about making other people or bringing joy to the world, you're always going to get signs about it. Always. Another one is when you receive, when you take full responsibility over the world, you're going to get tons of signs to direct you to what and how things need to be done. When you want to help the world. When you, in, when you want to take responsibility on the wall, these people are more likely to tap into the temple, in and out, in and out of the temple all the time. And when you truly work on yourself, when you really, now again, a lot of people having a, a status on their social media, spiritual, it's, not, it's easy to put it, but it's, are you really, really doing the work? Yeah, when things come up, that's not doing the work. Doing the work is proactive. These things that give you a proactive thing you can work on to start receiving signs that are, and again, chances are, if you are receiving signs that is related to doing something for the world, it's not, you, you're going to have an energy that you can't stop. And you're going to keep getting those signs more and more that you need to continue in that direction. That's, that's the idea. So, these guys and others, other actions or other type of consciousness that can bring you into reality of science, right? It shows when somebody is really taking control over his head, right? Rosh. Ot, Rosh, which means Rosh is head. And we know that we meant to control this entire world. How do we know that? In this word, Vata Tetzave. Why? Vata is also the same numerical value as the word bite, which is house, and Rosh, which is head. You take those two words together, what do you get? The word Bereshit, Genesis. Wow. The entire force of Genesis is now in this week. All the power of Genesis, of the creation of the world, meant to transform us to become the priest and be a generator of energy 
and be a generator of signs to the world, not billboard. Oh, you know, fictional thing. Absolute sign. Maybe this sign. Sign is not like, you know, a hint. Yeah, it's a hint, but it's a direction. When you, you have signs, you have signals, right, on the car. Why are you signaling? So if you're not, uh, if you're not, uh, again, uh, if you are driving in the car, you're probably signaling. Why are you signaling? To say, hey, I'm turning there. Be careful, right? That's what it meant. It meant to give us guidance that the entire universe meant to follow that guidance, to be elevated, to be a kingdom of priests, kingdom of human beings who are channeling light to this world. That's what we meant to be. That's what, that's what it tells you, those hints, those codes to share with us. One more, one more in that direction is, I, I was not planning to continue after that, but one more it's important, right? Where is it? Oh, we still, I want to remind you, because we are still in a frame of what we call the month of Pisces, the month of Adar. Remind you the entire, it's, we have two months of Adar, right? There's a concept, it's a cute concept, but I want to share with you why. Because instead of 30 days of the month of Pisces, we have 60 days. And they said, in the month of Pisces, you increase with happiness, Right? And he says that, why do we have two months? Because he says, it, there is a concept, batel beshishim. I don't know how you call it in, in Hebrew. But everything, if it's, if it's one, one sixtieth of something, okay, it doesn't cancel, or, or it cancel, I don't know how you say it in English, I mean, but you know that the concept? Batel beshishim. Do you know that concept? That it cancels out if it's... Yeah, if it's 160th. Yeah. It's cancer, right? Cancer. It says that you have 60 days of complete power of happiness that potentially if we connect it every day, increase a little bit. That's what you need to do. Every day, let's say some of you smiling every day, right? So, you know, I see somebody smiling. I see it. I think I need my glasses. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. You see, somebody is smiling here, right? <laughs> she, increased, she increased the happiness in the world much more now. In, because why? You see other people smile. Look, everybody is smiling over here, right? <laughs> so what is the idea? Imagine you increase every day. Just make sure you increase. Doesn't mean you have a fully happy day. No, increase a little bit. Ma'alim, oh, growing my happiness. You create a, a, almost like a nuclear energy of the month of this month of Pisces that can cancel out all chaos in the world, can cancel out all the terror that is terrorizing our life right now, can cancel all the death that has been. This is what we build. So again, this is a small, a small 60 days. That it's a code, right? Because. One, one, one sixtieth of, of something like that, you can cancel out, right, the negativity. So imagine 60 days of each one of us increase one more minute of happiness. One more. Right? Can, you, can, we, can we do an extra, like, oh, I don't want to be happy today. Any, nobody wakes up in the morning and decide not to be happy. I never saw something like that. But end up that I'm not happy today. Why? Because you start to look for what not make me, what doesn't make me happy. Why? Right? You focusing on the wrong thing. Let's focusing on increasing one step of happiness, and eventually you building a capsule of energy that can cancel out. Once you bring those sixty days of happiness to this year, right? Any chaos, any negativity will be canceled out right away with that power. So again, this is uh, uh, important to understand that in this month, we strengthening, if you remember I told you, the big connection is the Idra. Idra, the month of Adar is the month of Pisces. And Adar is the word for Idra. Idra is your spine. 
Your spine is the one who is in charge of holding your body together, right? Everything gets uh, 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 connected through the spine. And also spiritually is when each one of us have the weakness of, uh, you know, bending over for people, right? Let people stepping on you, right? I can even say that all of us have the problem of we cannot say no to somebody, right? Backbone. Our backbone is not strong. This month, we have two months of that. Strong backbone. I'm not backing up for any negativity that comes to attack. As a group, we can defeat any negative things in this world. With true happiness and the true connection to the temple inside of each one of us, we will fill this world with holiness. And holiness is not just being a holy. Holy comes from the word circuitry. That's the word. Circuitry. People of circuitry. People of continuity. Not an end. Not an end. We cannot think in the finite or live life in death way. We are unlimited beings. So, again, hopefully if you can listen to it again or maybe write down for yourself for these next couple of weeks or a couple of months to really strengthen ourselves, but really awaken yourself to a reality of what you meant to become. Meant to become a priest means mean a channel of the light. It's not for unique people. It's each one of us when we decide... And I gave you a few ideas of start to do them. When you do that, you're going to start seeing the sign and it's going to guide you in that direction. Only when you start transforming that level. So thank you again for hosting us. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we're going to see you uh, next week. Thanks so much.